A hadron is composed of three quarks. A hadron, generally we call a type of big particle that has three quarks inside of it. Can lah. This one can be an example of proton or neutron. They also have three quarks. Hadron has a charge though. Positive, negative. So this one is not neutral. Where Q is zero. What is the possible quark composition of the hadron? Hadron. Up, up, down, down, up, strange, up, strange, strange, up, up, strange. Wow, what is this? You need to know what is the individual quark composition. So the quark list that we have here is up, down. What else we have? Strange charm. Okay. Up, down. Maybe you saw charm strange instead of strange charm. Up and down, by the way. The charge is 2 over 3. Positive, down is negative 1 over 3. Then we add the last two, charm and strange. Charm, strange are cousins of up and down. So charm, you can say it is also positive 2 over 3 charge. Right here, quark charge. Strange is negative 1 over 3. So you need to add together. Lo. Down, down, up is going to give us... Oh yeah, we see that. Down, down, up. I write an example here. Down, down, up. This will give us zero. Le. Q zero. No, uh, we need a charge. This thing must be charged. It's either positive or negative. Down, up, strange. Down, up, strange. Thus. Negative one over three. Two over three. And strange negative one over three. Also zero. I cannot lah. Let's look at up, strange, strange. Plus 2 over 3. Minus 1 over 3. Minus 1 over 3. A. Also 0. Okay, la, the last one confirmed correct already. You know, no answer there. Let's check this one. Up, up, strange. 2 over 3. Plus 2 over 3. Minus 1 over 3. This will give us positive 1. Oh, it's like a proton. Positive 1 charge. Q is positive 1E. Oh, by the way, these are all in terms of E. Uh. I didn't write the E because we're just adding together to see which one equals 0. So best choice you can choose is D. You need to know, you must memorize the quark charge. All the up, down, charm, strange, top, bottom. There's also top and bottom there. And then you to remember, when they come together to form a hadron, the charges add together to form a charge of the whole particle. Alright, so that's all for this question and for the whole paper also. We'll see you in the next video.